Hello everyone, Bob here from Reconstructing History, flying solo this week on the RH Podcast. Welcome, welcome. Because, um, well, no other way to put it, but Cass is sick. She has a chronic condition, you may or may not be aware, called ulcerative colitis. And what this means is that sometimes it flares up. And when it flares up, she has extremely low energy. She just saps her all of her energy. Her, her spoon drawer just gets emptied right out. She can't even do, do the things she enjoys, like, you know, go for long walks in the spring sunshine or work on patterns. So work is kind of slow around here because nothing really happens without her in terms of new pattern development. She's picking at things here and there when and, ha when and if she has the energy to do so. But uh, that's why you see me up here in my office. I've been doing printing and the folding and the shipping, but I can't help her much with the pattern development. So I'm kind of on my own, and <laughs> that's why you're here with me now. So we thank you for your patience and your understanding. It's been going on for a couple of weeks but she's been talking to her doctor and things are getting under control and we hope she's right as rain in another couple of weeks couple of days i hope it's been it's been a trial that's another reason why i'm in uh, no, normally i have a nice shirt on and i've shaved and stuff like that and combed my hair but today i just got up and i realized oh we didn't do a podcast and i haven't mentioned anything about what's going on so i'd better strap on the mic and uh, make that happen. So now you know, and uh, you know, we are still working on patterns bit by bit, bit by bit. She's just put out the uh, new men's shirt, work shirt pattern. We've got some other stuff, some of the, the cycling jackets, those she's managed to finish up even in the midst of all of this. Uh, the simplified workman's trousers for the 19th and early 20th centuries. Those are all out. There'll be a list of all this in the show notes so that you can find them. Now, if you're a regular RH podcast viewer slash listener, you know that each week we pick a topic and we riff on it. You, well, usually Cass riffs on it and I learn stuff and ask questions, but today you get me. And I thought I'd talk about a thing that is a question we get often, and that is, are your patterns good for beginners? And really, the answer, you hate to answer a question with a question, but the question is, what does beginner mean? Because like many things in life, are your patterns suitable for beginners? Well, that depends. There are different kinds of beginners. There's beginners that are rank noobs who don't even know how to thread a needle. And there's beginners who are veteran sewers, but they're new to a particular historical technique. Or they're coming from, say, Victorian tailoring and trying to go back and do something Elizabethan. Well, these are different skill sets. And being an expert in one doesn't mean you're not a beginner in another. So, I mean, we try to make our instructions, tailor them, <laughs> to uh, be suitable for beginners, but there's always a tipping point. There's a place where, well, let's, let, okay, let me give you a con couple of concrete examples. Here is a pattern that is suitable for beginners, like never sewn anything before, take a look at that. It's really easy to make. Even I did it. You can find uh, links to that on our written blog. And on the other hand, over here is a pattern that's really not for the same kind of beginner. That one, it's got all kinds of underpinnings and different layers and stuff that just makes it not terribly suitable for someone who's never threaded a needle before. That said, as I noted, we do our best to tailor our instructions so it, the patterns are at least approachable by beginners. And this is really key. If you run into difficulties, 
you can always email us. Email address. You know, we might not get back to you right away. There's time differences, stuff like that. But as soon as we get the chance, we will, will be back to you. Ask us the question. You know, it, if possible, what's really sweet, fire up your smartphone, take some pictures of where you are in the construction process, and that gives us something to work on, something that we can see that can help you figure out where you are and how to get beyond the place where you're stuck. And, you know, with the emails, if you want to know whether one of our patterns, something you're interested in, is suitable for beginners, email it's an email it's right there. Hit us up. We're happy to help you. And, you know, we'll be perfectly honest with you. If you've something you've chosen is kind of, you know, if you've not sewn before, you don't want to bite into that because it'll be more than you can chew. Other things will just be, oh, yeah, fine. You'll be great. So, in any case, that's at least my take on good for beginners. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. That's just how life works sometimes. Anyway, standard uh, YouTube and podcast thing follows here. Like, subscribe, ring the little bell. If there's something you want to see, something you want to hear, drop us a comment in the comment section. Shoot us an email, info at reconstructinghistory.com. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, next week, Cass will be back with us, and she'll make me comb my hair and shave before I go on camera. Don't tell her. Shh. And, uh, yeah, I'll look presentable, and we'll have a much more entertaining podcast for you. In the meantime, I'm Bob from Reconstructing History, and we'll see you next time.